Hey, what's up guys? It's Seb from Workbench, and this week we're going to take a look at creating a liquid effect with fields. This week we're going to utilize the Volume Builder to create an animated 3D noise that we can use later to fill in an object. This should be a quickie. So while I was doing R&D for something else, I discovered that you can make 3D noise inside a cinema. So let me show you how I did that. I started out by creating a volume builder and I set that volume builder to fog and then I created a volume measure and this I believe by default is at 50 and then I created two things in here. I went into my create tab over here and I grabbed a field and I grabbed a random field because that gives us the noise and I set that to noise and currently I have it set to mod noise. I'll show you a couple different types of noise, but that's what we're using right now. And then I created a box. And I didn't change anything about the box. It's just default. So, and I made these both children of the volume builder. And inside the volume builder, I have the cube at the bottom. And then I have the random field set to multiply. And inside the random field, I have it set to object. Um, there's two modes, and I think by default, it's set to box, which in our case, uh, let's see, 100, 100, 100, and our cube is 200. So in our case, it'd be cutting the cube off if I left it in box mode. So I want to set it to object. So basically, it makes it as big as whatever object we're using it on. So now if I turn these guys on, and see here's our noise and let me show you a couple other noises here so inside here you can just there's a voronoi displace voronoi do that guy and you can control the noise here by going into the volume measure and bringing this number up or bringing this number down Pretty cool if you needed to build something like that. It's really neat. Not super practical, but neat. So I thought, after doing this, I thought, well, what else can I do with this? Because I can animate it. So I thought, I'm going to try and use a letter. So let's just do that in here. So instead of our cube, I'm going to dump this cube and I'm going to create a letter. Let's go into. MoGraph, and I'm going to do a MoText object. I'm feeling like a Y right now. And I'm going to look for kind of a fat font. Um, yeah, that'll work. All right, so we got this Y here. I'm going to make that a child of this. And I'm going to make sure that it's at the bottom. Turn this guy back on. And you can see it's eating away at the Y already. I can animate this guy be kind of a really cool little effect. So let's say that we wanted to use this, but I want it to draw on from the bottom. So how you would do that would be to grab a, another field. This time we're going to go in the fields and we're going to do a linear field. And we want it to draw from top, uh, from bottom to top. So I'm going to take the linear field and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make that a child in here as well. And then I'm going to go in here and set this linear field to multiply. I'm going to set this linear field to object as well. Oh, in the measure, I can animate this and it'll fill in from the bottom. And of course, also you can animate this so that it maybe goes away. And because of the setup, you can actually go in here and say, ah, you know what, I don't like this noise. Let's change it out to something else. If you wanted this to animate, let's say we put a keyframe here. And somewhere in here, I'm going to put another keyframe. So I'm going to move this up somewhere about here. Keyframe that. And then as part of this animation, I'm going to grab the measure here. And I'm going to keyframe this at 40. And then somewhere around 68 or so, I'm going to go or just under zero, actually. Probably about six. 
then you can make this animation a little more complicated by animating the noise. So you can see now it animates in a little bit. We can also take the random and animate it. So I'm going to start it here and I'm going to animate it up to about there. So here's the animation. I think it's pretty cool. So that's it for this technique. If you have any comments or questions, leave in the comments down below. If you'd like to help support what we do, go to patreon.com forward slash workbench and check out the blog at workbench.tv. I'm Sev, and we'll see you next week.